Hello Libra. Welcome to a reading all about what the person you're thinking about or connecting with is feeling about you. What are their um, overall energies and tensions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you that they haven't been able to tell you? What messages do you have for Libra? Let's get the overall energy for you and your love life here. Or Libra. The overall energy for Libra in love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive. The highest energy of all came out. All these. What else? What else? Overall energy for Libra in love. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Sometimes I read this as just releasing the past in general. So releasing the past in order to welcome something new in is what I'm seeing here, but we'll obviously keep going and see what else we get. Okay, I'm using my New Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available now. It's linked down below. Spirit, any other messages for Libra regarding love? Past, present, future energy. What's the past energy for Libra? Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. Present energy, please. Difficult decision. The decision could lead you, this decision could lead you down two different paths. So you or your person right now are facing a difficult decision. What about the future energies? Oh, okay, I got two for future energies. First one out is inner voice. This is one of my favorite cards. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Listen to your intuition. And then time out. Time is of the essence. This is timing, patience, waiting. I feel like someone's intuition is, it's almost like they're telling them time is running out or you need to do this quickly or it's time to take some sort of action here. So let's see. Let's look at the tarot. Messages for Libra, please, regarding love for Libra. Four of Wands fell out. What messages do you have for Libra? In love. Okay, let's see what we get. In the past, we have the High Priestess. So another card about listening to your intuition. This is also a card about um, kind of the unknown, seeking knowledge, secrets, mystery, psychic energy. Okay, in the present, we have the King of Swords, Reverse, and the Lovers. Gemini energy with the Lovers. So I feel like there's some sort of um, a difficult person that you might be dealing with, um, or this is someone that doesn't have clarity or isn't ready to speak their truth regarding a difficult decision. And I have the lovers here. So this is a decision between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. Um, King of Swords reverse, this could also mean that someone's ignoring their logic, their intellect, their analytical mind, and kind of going with feeling, what they feel, what they sense. We'll see when we clarify. In the near future, wow, we have the Six of Wands, success, recognition. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Coin, Taurus, Virgo, energy. Taurus, no, I can't even talk. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. So this is the overall energy here, the King of Coin. Hmm. This is someone who's very stable, dependable. Usually they are providers 
for me as a reader, they tend to be in commitments already. We'll see. This could also be the energy that someone's stepping into this month. One of you. This could also just be um, those of you who are single, but still attached to someone from the past. Um, it's almost like your your intuition is guiding you towards making a decision to release this in order to have success in the future. So take it as it resonates. Spirit, help me clarify. Let's clarify these energies for Libra. Let's start with this King of Coin. Why is the King of Coin here? Five of Cups reverse. Overcoming. This is a card also about overcoming the difficulties of the past. Kind of getting over what didn't work out. Um, it could be a card also about recovering what you've lost, recovering what you're missing. Tell me more about this King of Coin, please. Ace of Coin Reverse. So this is a broken commitment and missed opportunity, financial difficulty. This is a loss. One more, please. Two of Pentacles Reverse. The Chariot. Cancer energy and the Queen of Wands. So this is again that choice to move forward. That's what I'm seeing here. Someone making a choice to literally move forward, make a move here. Queen of Wands is someone that goes after what they want. They are motivated, brave. They're doers. So Either this King of Coin is the one that's going after a Queen of Wands or after something that they're very passionate about, or you are. Tell me about this High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Ace of Swords. So it could be that someone wants to talk. I'm getting like clarity, like whatever was unknown, there's clarity now. Can I get one more for the High Priestess? This is um, intellect. The Sun Reverse. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is connected to clarity. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Six of Cups reversed. So I feel like someone this is either regarding the past or someone is still thinking of the past, but there's clarity coming in about this. Like maybe a message came through or a conversation took place or the fact that there is no communication is the answer that someone's seeking. This could be you or your person. Can I get one more for the high priestess? The high priestess. That's way too many, but I want to look at them. Eight of Pentacles, Prince of Pentacles, or Princess of Pentacles is just like the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Someone's working hard here, and I feel like there's no, no, it, it's a lot of thinking and planning because the Four of Swords is someone that doesn't really take action. This could be somebody healing or just doing a lot of thinking. Hmm. Can I get one more for this High Priestess, please? The Sun Reverse, for me, when I have it with these cards here, I'm thinking of something that is not out in the open. Something's not out in the open. The Full Reverse and the Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy. So what I'm getting is like someone hasn't gone after a new beginning. Someone hasn't taken that risk or hasn't finished a cycle because the fool is the start of a cycle. So I feel like someone needs to break free here, have a breakthrough, have clarity about something here because it's almost like they've been holding on to like hoping or having faith in something. And I don't know, maybe they've been neglecting themselves. I don't know if this is you or your person, but I feel like whoever this is, it's like they have a lot of healing left to do. Um, something feels hopeless. They're, they're losing faith or hope in a situation. 
I think someone's like having, yeah, the moon reverse. Like this is something that's coming to light. Someone's having a realization about something here. <laughs> um, let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this clarity about? What's this Ace of Swords in here? The Ace of Swords in here. Oh, two of Cups reversed. It's about a disconnect. Someone walking away with Eight of Cups. So this is clarity about a partnership that didn't work out. Maybe a breakup. Maybe someone needs to have some sort of breakup right now. Someone might need to cut out a connection in order to move forward with the Eight of Cups here. They have the Hierophant reverse right after that. So this could be somebody walking away from a commitment. Someone's getting clarity about that. All right, so that was in the recent past. So why is the King of Swords reversed with the Lovers? It's in the present right now. So some sort of decision that needs to take place. Death reversed, Scorpio energy. Why is the King of Swords reversed with the Lovers? Ten of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting the sense that someone's holding on to something. They don't want a situation to end. I have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands reverse. I feel like someone doesn't want a situation to end or change. A cycle to end or change, a whatever the case may be. It's like someone is, is carrying a burden because they need to let this go is what I'm seeing here. Can I get one more? For the King of Swords reverse and the Lovers. Ten of Swords, definitely, yeah. Someone needs to end something. I mean, this is very clear here, and I feel like it's going like it's going along with everything that I've been saying up to this point that someone needs to move on or move forward and leave the past behind. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. This is this is the culmination of a cycle in order for a new one to begin. But there's resistance with the Death card reverse. Why is Death reverse? Why is death reverse? Temperance and seven of wands reverse. Time, patience. Someone just doesn't want to give up. Someone doesn't want to give up um, for something that it's like they're they're resisting something that needs to happen. Sagi with the Sagittarius, with the uh, Temperance here. It's like they don't realize, I have the Magician at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone's trying to manifest bringing something together, but it's just going to add more, or it's going to still be difficult, or it's going to be exhausting with the Nine of Wands right after that. And right after that, I have the Hierophant reversed again. So, you know, I feel this could go either way. This could be that you are ready to move on past a partnership and you've decided to let this go and move forward, set down this burden and move forward. And it's maybe your intuition is speaking to you about this. Um, and the other person is trying to manifest kind of holding on here with the nine of wands, seven of wands, reverse and temperance. It could be the other way around, completely flipped as well that someone if some of you are in a third party where there's um you're dealing with someone who has a partner um maybe this is them needing to let go of that partner so just take it as a resonate someone needs to let go of the past that's clear as day and they need to let go and not resist this anymore why is the six of wands here I feel like over time, your inner voice has been guiding you about being strong enough to make a, de a decision here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Knight of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Wands here? Three of Cups. 
Why is the Six of Wands here? Ace of Cups. You gotta be kidding me. What's this? Ten of Cups reverse. Interesting. Look at this. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. New beginning in love. Um, a reunion. A coming together. Celebrating. Very uh, full energy. And then have the Knight of Cups reversed. So with the Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a delayed message. Um, you know, like uh, someone opening up to you, expressing themselves, but they're blocked or delayed from doing so. Um, but the Knight of Cups reversed is also someone that tells you exactly what you want to hear. Uh, let's clarify that Knight of Cups reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups? Oh, wow, that just flew out. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm going to put it kind of like this because I feel like it was trying to flip, but it didn't. Four of Pentacles. This is someone that's holding on to something, kind of hoarding something, um, guarding themselves as well. Very defensive energy here. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? Let me get one more, please. For Libra. Three of Pentacles reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So I feel this Knight of Cups reverse. I don't know. It's almost like there is um there could be a third person involved here with the Three of Cups. It's like there's some something that's um Okay, so I'm, I'm getting so many messages right now, so just bear with me as I try to like filter them. The first, the main one that I'm getting is that some someone's holding on to something that's not working. Three of Pentacles reverse, or there's a third party interference that's holding on to someone or something here, and it's interrupting or interfering. So take it as it resonates, Libra. Let me know down in the comments if it is resonating for you, but. I feel like someone's holding on to something and it's not, it's just not meant to happen. The Wheel of Fortune reverse and then after that, after that, I have the Ace of Wands. So it's almost like someone's blocking either themselves from a new beginning or there's a situation that is, the time is not right. Regardless, I feel like this Knight of Cups is almost like prevented or um, perhaps they, you know, and, and another message that I'm getting, it's like, you are probably having new love, very successful partnership, and then here comes a Knight of Cups reverse who has not let go of you. That could be also um, something that happens here. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups reverse? Nine, oh no, what's this? Six of Pentacles reversed. So, mutual here maybe someone is wanting to put in work or effort into something and the other person isn't because i also have the three of pentacles reversed this is someone that's not working well with others does not put in, in uh, a good enough effort or energy into something so it doesn't work um regardless i feel like the message is just the same type of message i feel like this knight of cups reverse is the person that could be um in this, the person that's interested in you. All this time throughout this whole reading, I've gotten the Two of Cups reverse here, the Ace of Pentacles, uh, this, and then Lovers. So these are cards that, you know, typically in a relationship reading, these are good cards or cards that I pay attention to, um, they're either reversed or they are attached to a card that kind of is like a red red flag or an alert. Um, and then once the future comes in here, we have possibilities, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, Six of Wands, great energy. Um, and then here comes the red flag once again. <laughs> so I almost get the sense that releasing the past needs to happen in order for there to be success with love. Um, and that could be your person needing to release someone, you need to release someone, um, 
take it as it resonates. But that's the message that I'm getting is it's like, you know, get, get out of your own way kind of thing. Bottom of the deck, just in case you're curious, nine of cups reversed. So someone's wish not being granted. Um, so let's see, what are the blocks specifically? Spirit, tell me the blocks or challenges to this connection between Libra and this other person, whoever this is, whether it's someone from the past or someone that you're dealing with now. I think it's going to be different for all of you watching. Challenges or blocks, please, to this connection for Libra. Eight of Swords, fear, overthinking, um, feeling stuck. Hang on. I don't know how those fell, but I'm going to just show you. Ace of Wands, reverse looks like, could be upright. Three of Swords could be upright or reverse, and then the Knight of Swords upright or reverse. So <laughs> I don't know how these fell, so I'm not going to take them, but I'm just showing you what are the challenges or the blocks to this connection. 